Okay guys, so I've had my eye on these two monitors for a little while. Uh, the Zeus one longer than the other. Uh, but in my eyes, I finally sold my PC tower, by the way. I've not sold my chair, my other monitor, keyboard, headset, all the other stuff I was trying to set with it. Uh, but I got a guy to come up today, uh, bought it for 900 English pounds, um, which is cool because, like I say, the monitor, chair, headset, everything like that, I'm trying to sell that for about 300, 350. I have stuck it on 400 at, on Gumtree at the moment, but obviously I can lower that. But still, that's PC sold. That's that's nice. But anyway, um, on to monitors. This one, obviously, as you can see, is the ASUS model, and this one is the um, I can't even remember the name of it now. Acer. That's it. It's wrote everywhere. But yeah, there. These are the two. Aesthetically, the ASUS one to me is absolute. Look at it. I, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's no release date on the ASUS. Uh, this one says it has been launched. Uh, the ASUS launched, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's event in April. I can't see it on Amazon. Uh, I can't see it in UK Amazon anyway, uh, whatsoever. Uh, but this one still hasn't got a release date. And this is the annoying thing. Um, yeah, I will have one of these no matter what and um, I will have my other 4k monitor excuse me the other one that I've got uh, which is there and um, the one on the left I will be keeping the one on the right is the one I'm selling but the other one is the 4k but I'm just going to use that as my secondary to watch YouTube and other bits like that it's just it's nice to have a second monitor to have uh, forums up information up videos or whatever um, rather than just having one monitor but because my new tower is going to have SLI Titan X's, super clocked edition, and overclocked, they are. Um, everything's been upgraded from the last time I did a video. Um, but, you know, it should start being built next week. And then it's just going to be like a week, maybe two weeks before it's actually built, um, which is annoying. But I'll update that later. But anyway, so. We've got both these monitors. The main thing was finding a big monitor with G-Sync, that, but that's not too retardedly big. Both of these have got G-Sync. Both of them are at 4K resolution. Um, and that's the main thing. The main thing is 4K and 4G uh, G-Sync. So let me know what you guys think is the coolest monitor that there is. I mean... This one's a little low with the refresh rate at the moment. The other one's a bit higher at 75. This one's at 60, but they will increase that. There's been talk on the forums. They will increase the um, the actual refresh rate, um, or the hertz of it, sorry. So the 60 hertz, and this one's meant to be 75 hertz. It says somewhere, um, but I don't know where. But it definitely does say it somewhere. Can I find it? Uh, there, there you go. So there's 75 hertz there, and this one, like I say, is only 60, and it does say it somewhere, but it's too small for me to read. Unless I zoom in a bit. But hey ho. But anyway, let me know which monitor you think. It, it's I've got to get one of these two because I want a 34 inch. My my computer will be able to handle a 34 inch at 4K because it, of what's going in it. So. It'd be really rude just to keep it 27 inches because I'm not a professional gamer. I don't need a smaller monitor to be super accurate at Counter Strike. I'll never be super accurate at Counter Strike, you know, ever. Uh, or, or any. I, I'm, I'm an averagely good gamer, but nowhere near hardcore enough to, to stick with a 27 inch. I just want one that looks gorgeous, is gorgeous absolutely new generation tech inside it hence what the, it's not even been released yet um so you know it's it's bang on what i need and it's rog the asus is republic of gamers so yeah that that's pretty much it guys it's it's what between the two but this is the one i want i really want the asus one everything about it's gorgeous i mean yes the the asus one is really damn sexy still 34 inch curved yeah the, the this it's not a big curve on it and curve it doesn't mean a lot you know it's 
so don't focus too much on that. But basically, the point of a curve, because it's so wide, um, instead of it being big, flat, and wide, things are, uh, when you're looking at something that's really wide, it's sort of, things sort of fray up a bit, just because the angle is a very different distance. Let me try and, let me try and explain this. Um, say, say you're face to face with your monitor here and it's 30 inches. By the time you hit the edge of the screen or the edge of the screen, it's then about 32 inches just because of physics, physics or whatever. And um, so when it's a slight curve, it keeps everything you're looking at the exact same distance because it's so large or long. Um, it, it keeps everything looking better. If only I can word things right, it keeps everything um, more, the ratio of everything more normal. It, it just works better <laughs> when it's so long and it's slightly curved to stop that distance thing. I'm not a wordsmith and I wish I wasn't so retarded, but you know exactly what I mean. It does benefit you just because it keeps everything the same distance away. Um, yeah. That's it. Let me know what you think. Um, they will. I, I know both will be about a thousand pounds. I, I know that. I'll be amazed if they wasn't. Even my 27 inch one was, you know, I bought it like a year ago or a year and a half ago. And that was, no, sorry, my 20. When did I buy that thing? That was only like a year old. Um, or even less. Probably about six months old, yeah. Um, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going away for six weeks soon on the course. I'm hoping there'll be some kind of release date by then. Um, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.